This is Small Z Surgery. Hi, it's Cyril. I love his life. You're listening to Small Z on Nova. All right, on the show tonight, first time I've had the chance to have this guy in the studio. The song has been blowing up. It's been literally the song of the summer. Um, Cyril in the building, everybody. Yeah. How are you? Mate, you are about as Australian and Aussie as they come. A boy from Darwin, right? (laughs) You're in the big city now. Yeah, mate. Congratulations on just like the whole last couple of months for you. Thank you so much. How's it? It's been great. It's been a journey, yeah. So I'm from New South Wales originally. Oh, okay. You yeah. are from New South Wales. Yeah. But not, you're not from the city, though. You're no, surely no. from the I'm country. I'm from a town of 50 people, man. <laughs> I can There's tell. no shops. There's not even a fuel station where I'm from. <laughs> where, what town are you from in New South Wales? It's called U Abalong. U Abalong. Yeah, it's near Griffith or Dubbo. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, about three hours away from them. It's the town. <laughs> it's a, a small place near Dubbo that even people from Dubbo go, oh, it's a tiny town. Yeah, or... Oh, oh, what is it? Like, they don't know the name. <laughs> <laughs> and so, how did you get to Darwin? When did you move to Darwin? Uh, so, yeah, I went through a bit, like, being homeless, uh, you know, I was oh, wow. uh, through substance addictions and shit like that. Yeah. Um, and then I, um, yeah, I moved home for a little while to have long worked on the farm. Yeah. And then I um, I thought I'd go to Darwin and I got a scholarship to uh, do music. And um, after a few years, I enjoyed it okay, but then I um, decided to venture into the production side of things yeah, again and um, that so yeah. i'm gonna say that was not a turn in that story that i was expecting <laughs> yeah. you like you had to you were down on your luck and yeah. made some bad yeah, life decisions I was, and I had nothing wow yeah, absolutely nothing was it what was the moment uh when i couldn't charge my laptop i couldn't charge it because right. i was uh sleeping in public spaces and yeah, 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 yeah i couldn't charge it and um was that the moment that you were like i need to change something in my life moments, yeah i wanted to keep yeah. making music and when i couldn't do that that was yeah. uh i didn't really care about being i couldn't care where i'm in the world as long as i can make music and when i couldn't wow. do that that just uh yeah i needed to get somewhere that was the where wake I up call. Do that again yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 and then so scholarship in darwin yeah i got a scholarship in darwin mm-hmm. after um completing my year 12 certificate because yep. i never did that yeah. i quit school to um, become a DJ yep. and uh, producer yep. and it wasn't working out obviously yep. um, well no you were like living rough yeah I was living like pretty rough yeah, yeah 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 and then so when I moved home I um yeah, I just uh, I worked pretty hard to get my certificate and yep. then I got offered a uh, scholarship to be a high school music teacher and a visual wow. arts teacher so I ended up uh, learning marketing and um a lot more about music yeah and then once i finished all that i was like all right i know how to use photoshop now i know how to use you know premiere pro and then i started making more videos i started like learning how to market myself and um yeah i started marketing do you know do you know how inspiring i find this story right now yeah like i I don't know if anyone has i'm sure people say this to you but i like i would want to say man congratulations like you you it, people make so many excuses mm. for where they find themselves in yeah. their life yeah. and none of those excuses ever ta- start or end at the responsibility for themselves yeah. and to hear your journey your struggle yeah. waking up and going I'm the, the only thing that changes here is if I change yeah. and I've got to change what I'm doing yeah. and look at you here yeah. like on the number one radio show in the country it, the, you've had the song yeah. of the summer yeah. everyone is like loving the track yeah and it could have gone gone either way. And yeah. you could have blamed the world. I could have. You could have hated the world. Yeah. You could have blamed everybody else, but, yeah. you know, take responsibility. And then, man, it makes me want to play this song so many more times. Let me, so tell, us, you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. What is the story with the song? Like, I mean, obviously it's a classic, but yeah. how did you get your hands on, I think they call them stems, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I see, look at, look at me go. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, how did, w- 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 did you know the original? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, I did, actually. So when I was growing up, um, we'd go down to the pub and um, my dad would, like, get on the beers and that. And yeah. uh, out the front, uh, a couple of old blokes would play uh, guitar yeah. and, uh, you know, have a snare there or something. Yeah. And I really enjoyed that. So I'd go get my guitar and play songs. And it was always old songs like, you know, Johnny Cash, Alan Jackson, you mm. know, Susie Quattro. Yeah. So um, when I when I ventured into, like, trying to become a DJ, I found house music. And I was yeah. like, I was like, I love house music, but I also love the old stuff. Yeah. So much later, you know, I'm talking like a year ago, I was like, I'm going to try to combine them two things mm-hmm. and start with that. I need to start somewhere to... Get my name out there. So I remixed a few old ones and I think we're up to like 90 old songs now that I've remixed. Um, wow. Yeah, so I've just uh, put our stumbling in and now I'm just venturing into, all right, what am I going to do next? How am I going to write my own music? Yeah. Um, so I've made a few originals that sound old, but they're not old. It's yeah. pretty cool. So I've tried, I'm have tried. i trying to combine the two 
uh, things because I don't really like the new music that's coming out. And I want to change, you know, back to what it was. I hear good you, man. And, you the know. songs, they're not as good as they used to be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how old you are, but I feel like <laughs> we're, mate, man. we're going into boomer territory now. I sound like we're boomers. Like, oh, they just don't yeah. make songs like they used to, <laughs> yeah, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, good on you. Yeah. And so you just played shows on the weekend, the Good Life Festival. I did. They were great. Awesome. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And then now you got a, you've got shows coming up, I think, in the rest around the rest of the country as well. Yeah, I've got a few uh, things coming up for the next couple of weeks. Um, May 18th, I'm in uh, Ivy, which will be really fun. Yeah. Um, and then I'm off to Europe. So I'm off to Europe for four weeks and then I get back, no, go to New Zealand, go back to Darwin for one show, get back to Europe, do the summer in Europe, come back and do finish the Holy year on shit. A, yeah, a heap of festivals. Wow. Where are you, where are you going? Is that, is that first time ever to Europe? No, I just went there about four weeks ago, actually. Wow. Yeah, that was my first time. I didn't have, have a passport uh, when someone in... <laughs> Sort of stumbling in. I yeah. love you. I, th- I love this guy <laughs> so much. How was your first time in Europe? Dude, so much fun. I went to a local <laughs> coffee you... shop. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what... You, if Do you know what the coffee shop is in Amsterdam? Oh, I'm sure you got stoned, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I was so I was Did you go so to the a, lagged, did you man. go to the mushroom place? Like nah, they sell nah, all I was too that scared. Sh- I No, I was too. Yeah. No, cuz I was in Amsterdam like a year or so ago for like mm. the MTV awards yeah. and I was like, "Oh, the mushroom shop." But then I was like, "What if I have a bad trip?" Yeah. And I'm in a foreign like, country. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> "How will I ever get home?" Yeah, man. And then what if I get stuck in my own mind and yeah. then this is it. Yeah. So I didn't And then do you fall the- into the canal and drown. <laughs> yeah. like, what totally. Or I get on a bike and then ride off the edge. Yeah. Oh, man, you, you, you loved Amsterdam. But yeah, yeah. Then, right? so I got, I got really stoned and I was jet lagged. It was minus four degrees. I freaked out. And it was the first time meeting my managers at, um, at Spinning Records. So I was yeah. signed to Spinning. Yeah. I got there. I'm freaking. The worst thing was my manager got me a croissant. I had the paces. I didn't have any water. So I'm there trying to hit a croissant. And I'm just like... Oh, like, get me water. Get me, me water. What? Are we? Okay, yeah. great. So you had a f- an awesome first time in Europe. Then. Yeah, man, really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you playing shows for the Euro Summer? Where are you about to go? I'm what doing Brookerville. Um, we're doing Electrosides. We're doing a uh, big one. I haven't, can't announce it yet because no, not, don't announce it. Don't, yeah, don't get really, in trouble. There's one really, really big one. It's like forty thousand people. It's like a stadium. That'll yeah. be fun. Um, but yeah, there's heaps are you going to go like up. lay on an island somewhere and take oh, time which, off? Or if you I got... can, I don't think this year is going to be any time off. Honestly, I'm no. doing sixteen hours a day in the studio. Like I do all the, I'm doing these uh, this show and stuff, and then I get back to the hotel. Um, on the phone to Tiesto tonight, just making a few tunes, and I got Shit. sessions till four AM this morning. Where's Tiesto? He's got an, you know what? Yeah. Play your cards right, because he's got this amazing like chalet in some snowy mountain in Canada. Dude, he's I, rich. Well, where is it? Colorado. Yeah. I did a Zoom one Have time. Have you with his net worth? Oh, it's, it's insane. It's v- disgusting. Too much. It's disgusting. It's, I'd, I'd be why dead if I had money. Why do you need so much? <laughs> why do you need so much? Just give me some. Why? Far out. Man, what a, <laughs> I wish you, dude, nothing but the best. Thank you so when, much. When yeah. the new record, I mean, let's not get off stumbling in. Like, let's just keep, let's keep like let's rinsing keep that. In, yeah. Let's just keep rinsing <laughs> that. But when the new song drops, come in, we'll play it, man. Thanks, a massive Morsey. fan of yours, dude. Thanks, thanks and what so a story! Much, I reckon so yeah. inspiring. I love and, your show, man. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. People say like inspiring stories, like they throw that, throw that around mm. so flippantly, like yeah. in 2024. Mm. But your story, man, I think is like it, it has enough to inspire people, and thanks, it's so good man. on you, dude. Thanks a lot, bro. Smallsy surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.